Isn't that vase absolutely beautiful? Well, like a kind of a bowl, but it's like a Russian bowl, which has all been beautifully enameled. And we're going to use that as our basis for making this project. Now, you've got various sizes in the downloads, but we're just going to use the big ones. Let me just show you some of the papers that you can download. I've got this first one, the big A4 size paper, and you've got the lovely jeweled, well, enameled bowl there in the gold. Then we've got the next section, if you want to raise it up, you've got the bulbous part, and you've also got the rim as well, cut those out. Then we've got a few sheets here of enameled flowers. Now you can cut these out when you're watching TV or listening to the radio or doing something that doesn't take up too much uh, mind time as it was. Uh, you've also got this as well. You've got these in different sizes. You've got this lovely gold uh, oval frame that we're going to use. You've also got sentiment sheets in here. You've also got this one, beautiful rippled effect. Look at that beautiful rippled gold. And because it is like a rippled effect, you can really see how gold it is with the shine, shiny side. And also give you an alternative uh, background paper as well with this like kind of peacock feathers. We're not going to use that one in this demonstration, but you do get it in the download and different sizes. What we're also going to use is two pieces of card. Now I've chosen a black one and this like slight slate grey one. Now that's going to be my card. It's going to be a nice A4 one, but I'm going to join those two together with a strip of some gold card which I've got. Now have a look at this gold card. As you can see that it's about a third of a sheet there and all I've done is trimmed it so I've got a nice, if you imagine the sheet there, there's the sheet of black and you can see the width of it there, it's about a third and then I've creased it down the middle and folded it and then creased it down the middle both sides and then they've been folded as well so you end up like that. So first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've put some double sided tape on here. Now I'm just going to join these and this will act, act like a hinge on my card. So if I take that one off first and if I just line this one up, so that's going to go on the front. So if I just line it down there like that and then just lay it down, there you go. There's the first part of the corner of the design there, as you can see, there's the corner. Now, if I just turn it over, you can see I've got the next section here and then this is just going to peel off. Let me just peel it off here like so. And that's got double-sided tape. So if I press that down, keep it nice and flat, then I'm only going up to where the edge is there, the, where it creases, and then I'm going to lay that down. Don't lay it down until you've got it in exactly the right place, and then that can stick down there. So there's the back of it. So there you've got my card now joined together, as you can see, and you've got this where it folds there like that, and folds there like that, so that pops out like so. So you've got that there and you can also stick a strip of gold band down here and down that side if you so wish. So there's my card ready to decorate as you can see. Now you can see that how it opens up. There you go. That's how my card works now. And I say what I would do is cover that up with an insert or if you prefer you can just leave it like that if you want to. So there's the front of my card. Now I've taken some of the golden the golden paper you can see here and I've just trimmed the edges off so that it fits onto this card perfectly and I've put some double sided tape on the back and now I'm just going to stick that down onto the front of the card so just gently lay it in position first exactly where you want it and I'm going to stick it there like so so just press it down and then just pull off the backing pieces of paper so it sticks down nice and securely Let's just grab those pieces because you don't want any wrinkles in this, do you? So this is a, a foolproof way of not getting the wrinkles by just putting your paper there. And you can see that I've got this all the way around there like that. So there's the front of my card now and it's got the gold on there as well. Next, I'm going to put the frame on. And again, I've cut that out ready. I've cut out the centre here. Now you can either use a scalpel or a pair of scissors, depends what you enjoy doing. Now this frame is going to lie over the top of the golden section there and I just need to get it perfectly in position and then lay it down. So that's going to go there like that and you can see that now. Just lift that up there gently. Don't press it down until you've got it right and that can just ease up. There you go. 
go. And there's my frame on the front of the card. And you can see how they, those work beautifully together. So you've got the kind of old rusty, kind of old antique kind of frame. You've got the bright shiny gold, and then you've got the gold on the edge there. Now comes the fun bit. I've already cut out all my pieces. And on the back here, you can see I've got some double-sided tape on the back. You can see that double-sided tape already on the back. You can use tape or you can use the strips. And I'm doing this upside down so that you can see properly. And I'm just going to position that on the bottom part of the oval there. So there's the start of my card there with the beautiful design on the top there. Next I'm taking my next section and that's already been cut out and I've layered the foam tape on the back and that's going to lay down over the top and that just lifts it up slightly so you really get a nice kind of 3D look. Next I've got the next section which is like the collar and that's going to stick over the top here and again just lay that down perfectly exactly where you want it and I now I've got that 3D section of that card which looks really really nice I mean that looks fantastic on its own now what I've got here is I've cut all those flowers out you can use as many or as little as you want now I've not kind of pre-planned this, I've done all those ready. I'm not going to use all those, that would kind of go over the top. But I'm just going to put these on first. But before I do that, I've also got a... Where have I put that now? Just having a look, there it is. I've also got a, um, a sentiment sheet. Now you can put a peel off on there, you can put happy birthday or whatever. I'm just going to turn this round so I can see exactly where I want it to go. And I think I'll just off-centre it here on the bottom like that and that's just going to help me kind of line things up so there's my golden sentiment there at the bottom which i can put happy birthday or whatever i want onto it now it's just a question of adding the flowers and as you can see i've got some foam pads on the back of here all, all it takes is just one little foam pad on the back and now because it's raised up you can actually tuck those in if you want so i'm just gently i'm taking the big ones first just taking the large flowers and just gently sticking those down and you can do this willy-nilly you can have them overlapping if you want so i'm gonna have that overlapping there coming out of the bowl and i'm just going to put some big ones on first and it doesn't matter if they overlap just you know every now and again just stop and have a look at what you're doing i'm putting these nice red ones on first and just filling it out gently see how, how you can just build it up and you can overlap a little bit like that and a bit more like that and i've got some other ones here now i've got these lovely orchid type ones so i think i'll put one there and one there and it's quite nice to group flowers too if you just get one and one and one it can look a little bit strange so i'm just going to stick a blue one down there and maybe another blue one there and another blue one about there now what else have I got left? You can just keep bringing your flowers in. There you go, different flowers there. I think I'll take those greeny coloured ones. I think those will look quite nice. So I'm going to take one of the nice greeny coloured ones there and just build it up. You can play around and every now and again you might want to turn it round so you can actually see. I'm holding it up so I'm looking at it and see how it fits in. I think I need a few coming out here. But you can play around and if you don't press them down too much at this stage you can always take them off gently and reposition them so just keep adding your flowers till you get to the right amount that you want so i think i'll just add a few down there i'm going to have a couple coming out of the the beautiful golden bowl and i'm just overlapping here like so and then i've got some smaller ones which i'm just going to fill some of the gaps in Obviously, you can go mad here if you want to, and obviously I am doing, but you can do anything you want. See how that's building up? So, if I was wise, oh no, let's put a stick of, let's put a couple of yellow ones in. Let's have a yellow one there and a yellow one there. Now, the problem is that you go mad because you've cut them all out. You think, oh, go on, I'll use them, which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> so, you can see I'm just sticking these on and building that. One more, and then I'm going to stop, I promise you. There you go, I think that'll do for now. So you can see how that's built up now. You've got those, all those beautiful embellished, those lovely um, enameled flowers. 
And if I open the card, there you go, that's exactly what you're going to get. You can build that up, but using that bowl and the enamel flowers, you can create anything. In fact, what you're probably best to do as well is, they always have, don't they? One or two flowers that have fallen out. Don't ask me why, but Van Gogh, everybody's doing it. So I'm just putting a few on the bottom there to make it look. Just, just balance it up nicely, there you go. You can see the whole thing there. And that is what you end up with if you take the download You've got all those beautiful flowers and you've got the bowl and it, oh, how stunning is that? That'd be great for a birthday or anything like that.